Hi students, a lot of us are finally getting on our computers. You've had to wait a few days and some of us have been struggling to get our logins to work, but hopefully um, over the next couple days, you'll find yourself here at our classroom website. That's Culver's Classroom. Um, this is going to be the place where I put all of your most important materials, um, but it's not the only place to go in order to do your assignments. So what I'm gonna do is go through how you might want to order your day to make sure that each day you're working a little bit toward your goal and you don't feel overwhelmed. So the first thing I would do when I'm ready to start my learning day is I would listen to the morning meeting video, watch the morning meeting video for that day, listen to the read aloud, think about the questions that I'm asking. The next thing I would do is take out my journal I would open to the next available page, I'd write the date, and then I'd either write about the things I talked about in the morning meeting, or I would just write about my day, either my plans for the day or how my day went yesterday, but just um, make sure you're writing between four and five sentences, a paragraph a day would be a good goal. Uh, next um, might be a good time to do some personal reading. So I'd like you to set a goal for yourself that you could read two books a day. Now this might be paper books that you have, maybe the books I checked out. If they're chapter books, you're not going to get through two books a day. You're maybe just a few chapters a day would be fine. These might be my on books, but set a nice healthy goal for yourself and then make sure to take the AR quizzes after you finish a book. Um, that way I can see your progress as well. Um, next, you can go to Connect Ed. So go into Clever, find the Connect Ed um, uh, tab, and then go in to Connect Ed, listen to your stories for the week, do your to-do list, play the games, practice the vocabulary. Um, next, you might go back to Culver's Classroom and listen to the, or watch the math videos that I've been making that go with each lesson. Now, you don't have to do a lesson a day, maybe a lesson every two days, um, would still be enough to keep you caught up. Um, don't feel like you need to rush. You could also at that point do one or two pages in that yellow math review book that I provided. Um, next, you might want to take a brain break and maybe do a couple pages in your cursive book, maybe go back into Clever and do Nitro Type or Typing Club. Um, next, uh, it would probably be time to head over to either Reading Plus or Lexia. Um, so make sure you're doing between 20 and 30 minutes of Reading Plus and Lexia a day. Both of those programs are really important for strengthening your reading skills. Um, in the writing department, don't worry about starting your writing assignment until next week. I'm going to be putting up a lot of resources to help you write your Shumash story. Um, and you're going to need some individual help from me. So go ahead and hold off on that for the next week or so until everybody's up and running with their computers. The most important thing you do every single day is communicate with me. So parents, please do um, check in with me on Class Dojo every day. Um, just a quick word, say um, whether, you know, hi is fine. <laughs> just so I know you're still with me, um, please ask me questions or give me concerns. I appreciate those questions and concerns that I've already received. Students, you can also talk to me. So I put all of you, the whole class is in Reading Plus. If you're in, if you're truly in Lexia, you're gonna continue working in Lexia. I don't want you to start working in Reading Plus. I put everybody in Reading Plus because Reading Plus um, has a messaging center. So each one of you can talk to me in Reading Plus individually with your questions, with your concerns, if you're just feeling overwhelmed, if you just need someone to talk to, you can talk to me in Reading Plus. So that is everybody now has the ability to do that. And that way, if your parents are at work, you don't have to wait until they get home to ask a question. So that's just an overview of what you can do. There's going to be some days where it's going to be easier and some days where it's going to be harder. Please just keep me posted. If it's getting like to be too much, then we can um, shorten some of your assignment list. Um, if you feel like you need more, I can give you some suggestions. Um, you know you have MobyMax, which you can do when you have time, and then you have all the clever apps. There's code, um, which some of you really like, and there's lots of other things. So go ahead and make your time count, have fun, um, 
and come back to this video whenever you have trouble remembering what you're supposed to do. Okay, students, have fun. See you soon. Bye.